Today, now that we've finished the law and the gospel, we talked about that, now we're going to study uh, uh, an awesome word. Is what? Is God. What, what do we know about God? Who is he? Um, why does he done all these things for us? As you just recently saw, he loves us so much. Well, one of the ways that we know about God is what? He's through Jesus. And it happened when Jesus, when he was old 30, came to become baptized. John was baptizing people by the river. And Jesus also came. And, and Jesus said, I, I want to become baptized. And John said, no, no, no. You need to baptize me. And Jesus said, no. We do a robber. You need to baptize me. And so John accepted it. And so Jesus went down and John baptized Jesus. Well, after he was baptized and Jesus was coming up, what happened? It says the Holy Spirit came down looking like a dove and the voice, heaven opened up and the voice of the Father said, this is my son. I love him. I am pleased with him. See, that's one of the examples where you see God, who is he? He is, he is God, meaning there is one God. We do not have many gods. We have one God. But God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. How, how do you explain that? How, how do you get a picture? One of the ways we do that is we ask people, are, are, you, are you three in one? And this is what I want to show you, okay? See, when, when God made us, he made us, with Adam, he made us physical. But also, when God breathed into man, he gave him a soul. But also, when God breathed in, his Holy Spirit, boom. So God made us body, soul, and spirit. Well, now what happened because of sin, God, when man sinned, now... So when people are born today, they are born body and soul, but where's the spirit? That's what happens in baptism. God puts his spirit into us. And see, so God made us three in one. See, that's one of the pictures to show. Can, can, I, can, I, can I look? Can I, can, I, can I open him up and, and see his soul? Can I, can I open him up and see his spirit in there? Can, no, you and I can't. I can see his body, but I know he has a soul. I know his, the Holy Spirit is in there. Well, that's the picture you and I to help us understand God. It's three in one. Yeah, sometimes you use the word triune. Tri, it means three. You know, like a tri... Uh, Tricycle. When you're riding when you're a kid, a tricycle means three wheels, right? So T-R-I means three. Un means one. And so that's why we have three in one or triune God. Sometimes you see the word trinity, which means three, tri, and then entity really is from the word united. So three united in one. And so now why do we sign, you see three, okay? And the other hand right there, that's the mystery. How is it possible? We don't know, but you have the three in the mystery becomes one. And you have three in one, how? Can you and I explain that? Pfft, impossible, but that's God. That's the God who loves us. And through the Bible, you read again and again and again how he is three in one and Jesus came to save us. And you'll learn later, he is, Jesus is God's word, became flesh. And you see it in the story today, right? You have the Father in heaven, who's one. You have the dove who sets up on Jesus, who's two. And then you have Jesus, who is the son, three. And so you have them three and one. So we pray God will bless your study in his word.